These are the ghosts of 1965 at Sugar Island Speedway. It was kind of halfway between Chabance and Aroma Park, and this is what it looked like in an afternoon race. There were a lot of Friday night races, but we're looking at, a, I think, a special Sunday race. That number four, that's Joe Weaver. I don't know who 32 is. Who's that? We have no. Uh, yeah, oh, I don't think that four could be Weaver. He would never spin out. Pat O'Hara. Pat O'Hara. He lived right at the gate. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right there so. Pat O'Hara in a 57 Chevrolet. It doesn't say that it's a convertible, though. But uh, did you see the stands? That's a good crowd. Oh. There's Earl Hubert, the black and white car. Oh, yeah, it is a good crowd. It goes all the way down into turn one. And, and those weeds down there at the end of turn one, you remember what happened there? Oh, wait a minute. Who's that, Paul? Oh, yeah. I got that one. That, I, that's got to be Pat O'Hara, 32. Yeah. But uh, I think I saw another convertible look like your... Uh, yeah, it could have been the old number eight ball. Yeah. That is a pretty good crowd for a Sunday afternoon, and that's probably Don Hartman. Uh, oh, yeah, taking yeah. the flag, right? Uh-oh. So, <laughs> fans in the stands. And you remember hearing in the stands? Was that the drivers? That's the I driver's remember that, that that fellow in the middle there. Is that Pat O'Hara? Well, I think that's Eldon uh, Norick on this is side. Is it? Yeah. Oh, here oh here's an old here model race. <laughs> oh, there's Don Deluzak in the 111. Yes. Uh-huh. And these would be what they referred to then as the old models rather than the sportsmen. <laughs> old and new. That's very clear. Two divisions. They're, they look pretty stock, though, don't they? Yes, they do. It's all steel. <laughs> they look heavy. Now, we're in the pits. There's obviously a break in the action. And, and that's Don standing there by the hood. And there's Don Hartman, yeah, flagman, Don Hartman. photographer, trophy presenter, a little of everything from Bradley, I believe. Yeah, and uh, you could buy the pictures for a dollar. That's correct. You couldn't buy that particular picture there. (laughs) There we go. Let's get back to racing. Bit of realism there. (laughs) Some really fancy tow rigs in the pits, too. (laughs) I don't see any covered haulers at all. (laughs) Okay, what do we got here? There's Art Owens in the 4K Mercury from And then that must be Corky Ritter in 96. Yeah. Art's roll bar, you see it bent up over his helmet? He told, me after a, he told me after a race, he said, I hit my head on a roll bar. I don't remember much after that accident. <laughs> but he did much better after that accident. <laughs> he did. And I don't think he Hey, that's a big anything. field. Yeah, isn't a it? A huge field. I didn't know that many cars fit on this track. <laughs> I don't. It's pretty tight. And uh, there's some big numbers out there, too. 66 looks pretty clean. I don't know who that is. I think that that's the Eldon Buff car. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh this is there boy. We go. Uh, who started this, I wonder? We probably don't get an instant replay. No. <laughs> but, it, uh, gee, the, the lose that car is broken. A little more trouble, but he gets a close up. <laughs> it might just be a still picture. Boy, they've got at least two tow trucks on the track. We can barely get that. Three tow trucks on the track. We didn't get that later on at the fairgrounds. Uh, I wonder if that's a Earl's son. Well, that. that's a car painted like Earl's, isn't it? Yeah. Assuming that Earl's was black in the front and white in the rear. Earl Hubert of Aroma Park, late model star. And an association bigwig, as I recall. Yes, he was president, president at this time of the, I forget the exact title, but the Kankakee Valley Racing Association. Yeah. He was president. Oh, this Mercury's going through this crowd like a, um, oh, a knife through hot butter here. It's a nice wrinkle. looking convertible. Uh, yeah, a little wrinkle in the back there. You know, I believe that uh, black and white car was number 44. Oh, that could have been uh, Bruce then, maybe? Yeah. You think? Um, the uh, 14 out there is uh, right there. Yeah. It's Gary Johnson, our old neighbor. Really? Oh, Gary yeah. Johnson. The Gary Johnson, owner yeah. of Fireball Furman's right. car and Wayne Etzel's cars. Oh, wait a minute. Who won this race? Won? Corky Ritter. I thought the Mercury was on its way. Corky won plenty of races. Yeah. Oh, here you go. There's this is some late model, model. Yeah. yeah, late model heat. There's a 58 Ford. I didn't catch who it was. Uh, Weissbaum? Yeah, could be. Uh, that looks like Weaver's car. Now, is that Chevelle there, convertible? Is that Jim O'Connor? I think it might be, although he's getting passed pretty regularly, isn't he? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Bob that must be, is that Bob, Bob Shell? Yeah. Run, run, running number one. three, 
or running number three. Running third? Is that uh, Bill Genzel there in a Ford? 63. Yeah. There's Earl Hubert. And I didn't Shell. catch who else. Oh, by Shell. And then uh, that might be. Um, uh, looks like Don Hartman's giving another trophy out to a convertible. Somebody with a flag in his hand. Pat O'Hara. Pat O'Hara wins nice again. Having a good night. That must have been uh -oh. the trophy dash and <laughs> the fast heat. Now, this is another uh, night now. Yeah. Uh, the video takes in. Uh, th there'll be some fireworks on it later. I but, thought uh, that was time trials at first, but it's not. Bob Shell is uh, way out in front of the pack. Either they're catching him or or he's leading. Jack looks oh, there's XPI. Wetter. There's is Joe it? Weaver, number yeah. four. Yeah. And uh, up in front was Bill Cox Jr. Who's number 11? Number 11 is Edward Cooper. Oh, mm -hmm. Balloonfoot Cooper. Uh, uh, 58 how he, Ford. I got that nickname. Uh, you know, uh -huh. I'd complain about how dark this guy, but boy, this guy did us well, a great yeah, service here, yeah. Uh, yeah. getting this uh, movie and uh, providing it. I believe we're back to the old models, are we? Yeah. I like the daytime yeah. racing a lot better right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. well, there were some unusual cars, especially in this division. And they weren't all covered with sponsors in those days. You <laughs> yeah, know right. Saying? You'd see Packards you, and you'd just Cadillacs. See the number, and, you know? uh, is that car sitting on the fence or on its way to the pit <laughs> he's area? On the fence. Huh? He I might think be he was on the, way the, to the river. <laughs> There's a very small berm there. Well, that car down in the front row there doesn't seem to be sitting very well <laughs> on its wheels. Uh. Well, remember Richard Smith's story about how that Plymouth was so good. It was after a wreck. Something happened to it. Yeah, a lot of times that <laughs> happens. Said, we didn't. We didn't know what it was. It got it bent just, just the right way. Yeah. I'm guessing this is late miles because I've seen the Hubert car, but oh, yeah. oh, tow vehicles. So did uh, Jim tow his car over uh, with a? No, with a car? pickup truck, oh, okay. a pickup truck and a trailer. But this looks like about a 64 or 62 Ford pulling a, I, I suppose, old model because they only had two classes, I believe. Yeah. And uh, this looks like it's coming from Shabance. It's just turned the second turn here. It would be coming yeah, up. You guys right would there. know more about that than I do. I come from the north, you know, up by <laughs> Irwin. Yeah. There's somebody in the car. Yeah, there is. Well, you got to. Yeah. This is what we were worried about, uh, seeing ourselves in no, the No, no, this is the pit. These are all drivers. Yeah, yeah, those are drivers sitting in the pit. There were bleachers they in the pit. They had the pits. little set of bleachers for them. There's now, Bob this Schell. is qualifying. Remember, they'd sit yeah. on the track. That is uh, oh. not very comfortable, let me tell you. I did that once, <laughs> and, and uh, I cringed the whole time. Fifty-one, and that's uh -huh. probably not Don Walfogel. No, 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 that's not Walfogel. That cornering effort there didn't look. Everybody qualified in those days, huh? Oh man, we got to know who that big seventy-seven is. It could be Dwayne Higginbottom from uh, how by uh, Bonfield. Yes. Was there a high groove and a low groove on this track, Paul? I don't even know that there was a groove. I think there, <laughs> you, could, you couldn't go three wide, I don't think. I'm not sure you could go too wide <laughs> well, without, with these, without a little no, well, uh, yeah, no, moving. Well. moving. Back to the sportsman qualifying, or is it? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Sportsman. Old model, I'm sorry. Yeah. And there's the pit, famous pit shack as you come into the pit area. Yeah. You have your pit pass ready. You know, this could be a uh, powder pluff race with all these ladies lined up. But, well, there's a, big I there's a good looking car. I think that's Butch Kissner working on Earl's car. His head wrench. Yeah, could be. There's uh, Earl's owner there in the white pants. Yeah. 